Spin with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug. I'm Stacy. And today we're bringing you videos from the Heirloom Expo in Santa Rosa, California. And right now we're standing in front of Stonehenge. What? Stonehenge. It's Gordon. Oh, it is Gordon. Yes, it is. Oh, I can't take her anywhere. It is so much fun here. There's so much watermelons and gourds and squashes and pumpkins and huge pumpkins that are over a thousand pounds. There's dahlias and there's taste testing for tomatoes. I mean, so much fun here. I can't wait to experience it all. All right, so we're gonna show you guys around. Here we go. Hi, I'm Christy Wilhelmy from Garden Nerd, and I come to the Heirloom Expo every year since the second year it started. I discovered it in the first year but couldn't come, but I came the second year, and I've been a speaker at the Heirloom Expo for four years. And to me, the Heirloom Expo is running away to the circus for gardeners. It is the place to refill my soul, rejuvenate, and uh, learn a lot from other fabulous people like Doug and Stacy. Uh, and so uh, you can find everything about me and my gardening world at GardenNerd.com. Happy gardening! We're from uh, Lake County. We heard about the expo just from living around here and hearing how fun it was. And we just love to see all the huge produce displays and rare fruit and stuff. So, thank you. Heirloom vegetables, right? So, we this year, I think we had over, I think we had close to over a thousand kids on the floor. Yeah. And this year, we had over 1,000 having all the different school kids getting to see them with the plants and some of them you know don't know where milk comes from or have never seen an egg and so it's really great to get to have these kids on the farm collecting eggs picking vegetables you know Sharon, this is Rick, my husband. Hello. And we're from Arizona. Um, we heard about the Heirloom Expo through one of our magazines, the Heirloom Seeds magazine. It was on the back cover. And because we have a special needs business in Arizona, we're teaching them healthy living, healthy gardening. We thought this would be a perfect opportunity to come and get some more education as far as how to grow the seeds, where to get them from, how to nurture them, and how to teach them how to plant those seeds. I'm from Santa Cruz, California, and I'm from Fair Oaks, California, and this is my third time here. It's my first time, because I didn't have to work. 
So I was able to come, and I've wanted to come for years. And I have a small farm, and matter of fact, I came here to research my chickens. Heritage chickens and found a great lady and then also some fruits and vegetables and I attend some of the seminars. So I really enjoy it. I come every year. Yeah. I've wanted to come for years, do the classes. I bought seeds from Baker Creek for years, so it's good to be here. I'm Stephanie. I'm down in Petaluma, about 30 minutes from here. I love the expo. It's all we hear about in Sonoma County. I'm Cindy, I'm from Sebastopol. I grew up here and I'm so excited to be here for this amazing thing. I learned about it in Heirloom Gardener several years ago and it's wonderful. I've really enjoyed the talks about pollinators and pollinating gardens and permaculture and all the wonderful vendors. The light that flickers will blow away with the sight. And all that blossomed will wither away and die. Not now. Depending on what you're growing, and you can just use the dome on top for oh, growing. Well, I'm Sky. I'm Ella. This is Ella. We uh, we heard about this through the New Agrarian Collective up in Willits. You did. Just, just a farm school, and we hitched on here. This is our third year here. It's a definite. We're, we're we're planning on next year and the year after that. Yeah. It's happening. <laughs> I love just all of the people here, the energy here, just what's going on. It's family, family. It's like big movement. We like to be a part of. Yeah. A lot of like-minded people that gather. It's really nourishing. Indeed. And we like the watermelon tastings. <laughs> <laughs> Autumn comes to. I'm not ready for autumn Autumn comes too soon Autumn comes too soon Autumn comes too soon
defendiendo la semilla de nuestros abuelos. And we're defending the seeds of our ancestors. Gracias a Becky Trick por esta invitación y estas conexiones que estamos haciendo acá en Estados Unidos. Thank you to Baker Creek for the connections that they've allowed us to form here in the United States. Ellos han llegado en Guatemala, nos han apoyado en la compra de nuestras semillas y lo venden y están apoyando a la gente campesina de Guatemala. They've come to Guatemala, they've helped us with our seeds, they've bought our seeds and they've helped us help many other farmers in Guatemala. I had a restaurant and it was called The Prophet. It was the first vegetarian restaurant in San Diego. And we used to go see Dr. Bronner. He would, I, we would wait at Escondido for him to uh, wake up from his nap. And uh, also there was Dr. Ben, uh, Dr. Benish and Dr. Bernard Jensen, Hidden Valley Health. So I was around to see all the great iridologists and you know, so this is, you know, I learned a lot from some great, great leaders in health. So uh, I wouldn't be 76 today if I didn't eat good food and learn from them. Autumn comes to comes to soon. I'm from San Diego, I live in Dallas, and I came to the Heirloom Festival because I'm trying to learn to be a farmer. This is a one-of-a-kind, spectacular event. You guys, please attend next year. You will not regret it. Life-changing. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.